what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the front. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kobe. We're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we have a special guest, Wuda. What's up, bro? How you feeling? Chilling. Had First a long all, day. You baited mad times. Never. Low key. I baited? Yeah. You were supposed to come and didn't come. I ain't gonna lie. It's. It's so hard to get to New York. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, New York be so busy. It be what? It be, it, it just be so it's busy. Yeah. So I got questions from when you were supposed to come before. Then I have, like, newer questions. Okay. You know? All right, so we're gonna do rapid. Is it messy questions? Huh? Is it messy questions? I mean, you cover a lot on your YouTube, so it's not, like, nothing crazy. Okay. Well, it might be a little crazy. Like, <laughs> okay. It depends on what you define crazy. All right, but we're going to start with rapid fire questions. I'm going to ask you a question. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. What's your sign? Cancer. What's the red flag on social media? On social media? Mm hmm Describe real quick. Describe? Like, okay, if you see a girl post this, no, no. Like, oh, um, too much freak shit. It's like, I know, I know you just, it depends. If you a model, it's cool. Okay. But if you just trying to be, it's like, what are you doing? What's freak shit? Like, in the stories? Like, the quotes? And no, the like, too much freak stuff. I don't like seeing that. Okay. It's just not astounding to me. It's, I, that wouldn't make me want to talk to you. So, like, bathing suit don't, like, bikini stuff don't count? No, that's cool. Like, that's like, okay. I'm saying, like, no weird shit. Like, all that tongue and trying oh. to look back at your butt. With your like, with your panty line showing, that's like <laughs> OD. Oh yeah, that's the trend right now. The girls are showing their panties like. <laughs> Bad trend. <laughs> <laughs> Bad trend. I don't know who made that trend. I think Ice Spice with the Deli song. Cause, See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me. But yeah, um, uh, who's the most famous person in phone? In my phone, that's kind of fair. How the most famous person in phone? Mm. -hmm. <laughs> Why you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. At what age do you want to retire? Retire just from everything. Yeah. Like go ghost forever. Go ghost forever. It's crazy. People still gonna know you. But like, okay. So, let's say, what age you want to retire from YouTube? Shit. Now. Stop it. No bullshit. Retire from YouTube now? Yeah, I would. And then come back ten years later. Ten years later. Yeah, I would do that. I would right. do that. You just made a whole... Like, no, but it's like, what age do I literally retire? Yeah. When my kid, 16, 17, like, he can vlog me at that point. Oh. I wouldn't want to pick up the camera. Like, he okay. can vlog me on some shit. Okay. No, he don't want kids, bro. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Who do um, people compare you to the most? Like, in general, who do people compare you to the most? Compare me to? Mm -hmm. If anybody. Um, I don't really see certain stuff. Who do people compare me to? I don't know. Nobody for real? Yeah, I don't think nobody. I think musically, do they compare you to anybody? Musically, I I be seeing, I be seeing Tusi. I see Rock. I see. That's it. Yeah, Who's that's it. Well, yeah, P M B Rock and Tusi. That's oh, all I see. Oh, P M B Rock. I'm I'm thinking saying Brock. I'm I don't like, see nobody what? else. You ever oh. seen nobody else? Yeah, I ain't seen nobody else. Yeah, I don't know. I seen Who do you text the most? The guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just text the bros, for real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A conspiracy theory you think is real? Conspiracy theory I think is real? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Like, you believe aliens are real? Do you no. think the world is flat? Like No, real? I think the world flat. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you know how people be showing all that outer space shit? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's real. I think we in like a dome. I don't know something <laughs> wrong with me. Like, no bullshit. Like, I think we in a dome. Mm -hmm. No cat. Because it's like, you know how people be scared to get on a plane? Yeah. Like, bro, you're not gonna crash. Like, I don't I don't think you would crash. Okay, like, God forbid. But, um. It's just like, it's too. The shit too flat. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, mm mm. Okay. Like, imagine going up. Even more, you're not gonna see like outer space. I don't think the plane gonna crash, but I definitely think like we can't go too high. Like, but how is get... outer space black? That's what I don't understand. Cause no lights up there. Bro, it's not real, bro. I don't think that <laughs> shit real. Think, I don't, I don't even think the moon real. 
can't so be. So what's the moon? There is, it's like, the moon is the moon, if that makes sense. I don't well, think niggas live on the moon. Like, you know how niggas say, like, niggas live on the moon, Mars, and all that? Yeah. I wish it was real. I feel like I'm not from here on some shit. But okay. I don't know where I'm from. So you an alien, that's what you're trying to say. Probably. You say you don't believe in aliens. I don't, though. Okay. I feel like an alien not real. I feel like a alien is real, though. Like, something is alien. But an alien not real. Like, if you do something... That's alien is like out of it's like it's not normal on some shit. Okay. That's what I think that's alien. I'm trying to I'm trying to follow you, but I bet. <laughs> um if you could ask the government one question, what would it be? Why you take away PUA? I'm gonna ask them some shit like that. PUA. PUA is like unemployment. Oh. Type shit. What was your first big purchase? My first big purchase? My first car. Yeah. And I bought a um a Daytona. I put twenty bands now on that shit. Yeah. First car. First car. Okay, okay, okay. And that then, was a dumbest shit I did though. I shouldn't have did that. You didn't get a car again? No, I did, but I did it the yeah. right way. Oh, like oh, yeah. I'll give you. All right. What's your um most used slang word? Slang. Yeah. Probably, probably, probably. Fuck. Or shit. That's not a slang word. That's a curse word. Bro. You know bro? I, I say bro a lot. Okay. Yeah. You do say bro a lot. Yeah, I say bro a lot. I say bro a lot. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm. If any. Well, I'm pretty sure you hear stuff. Craziest rumor. Damn. Damn, I heard a lot. You heard a lot of shit? Yeah, a lot. What's the craziest the one? Craziest draw. Um. Damn. All right, most recent one. Bad too. I don't know. It's not even. It's so many. I don't know which one to say. It's like all right, crazy from her. Probably, 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 probably it was like a baby one. So, so, on like something about a baby, yeah. Got but I've been talked about that. That's old. But that was probably the craziest one recently. Yeah. Some shit. I guess what was having a kid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Walk us through how you got started. I know you probably like talk On about that media? all the time. Yeah. Um, I could say I I started social media through my friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. Brock. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Brock. Brock put me on to a lot of things I never really was used to. I started doing TikTok because of him and stuff like that. But when I started growing. It was really more on me. It's like he gave me the doors. Like it's like he gave me the key, and mm -hmm. I just took the leap with faith yeah. on some shit. Um, I just started traveling, started doing YouTube mm -hmm. after I started. So that was three years ago, though. Okay. So I could say that. Well, was you only like, been doing YouTube for three years. Yeah, this is going on three years, or I think it is three years. I don't know. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two is when you started doing YouTube. That's when I really started doing YouTube. Damn. Yeah. So when you was doing YouTube, you were shopping already. Yeah, somewhat, yeah. But I started YouTube with my mom. I was I was vlogging, like, in church and stuff. You was vlogging in church? Yeah, I was vlogging in church. Okay. I, I first got stuck in the airport, though. I was, was going to L.A. Vlog? for my birthday, yeah. And then... You I got were stuck in the airport or you got lost? I got stuck. Okay. So it was like, they canceled the flight. I had to stay the night in the airport. Oh, but I okay. vlogged it. So okay. they put it on the shade room because they felt bad for me. I was 16 and I was vlogging, but I was showing them. Everything that was going on. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I woke up like two weeks after that. Not literally on no mm -hmm. coma shit, but I like woke up later mm -hmm. and I looked on my phone. I was on the shade room. They was talking about like find his ad. Because I guess they made like a meme mm -hmm. on TikTok. Yeah. And it got posted okay. um, that I was stuck. And then after that, I just kept vlogging. I kept okay. vlogging. Mm -hmm. And vlogging is just really easy. I just pick up a camera and I just talk. Okay, so when did you finally get comfortable on camera? I always been comfortable on camera. Yeah. Um, my first time experience being on camera though was probably Dust Smash. No, Vine. Vine. I used to do like Vine skits. Okay. But I never knew they was going viral. Viral yeah, back man. then was thirty thousand views. Okay. I think that was viral. Dub Smash. No, Vine, Vine, Vine. Vine. Yeah, fake. Yeah. yeah so like thirty thousand views was viral back then. Yeah. I feel like, but I never knew I was going viral. Mm-hmm. 
like, and I was trying to figure out why everybody knew me and I was getting followers. Okay. I'm How like, did you know people was knowing you? You was getting stopped? Followers. I went from oh, like 2K to 5K. Oh, okay. Randomly, though. Oh, okay. And like, I was like, the fuck? Okay. All right. And then, um, well, you, did your brother also do content too? Mm, yeah. Sweetie, yeah. 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 And then I think she t they talked about it on Wendy Williams also. Oh yeah, yeah for was going viral on Twitter. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. Facts. She don't but, got my um, respect. All right, so you've been in the spotlight for so long. So how did you um, I guess how was it dealing with that from so young and kind of like adjusting to it now? Mm, Being in the spotlight. It, it it got harder after my brother passed mm. because I got more known. So okay. once I got more, yeah, cause that one, that story is big, yeah. Yeah, so that was like my peak to being like Wuda, cause it's like I was Wuda, but now I, it was like after he passed, I became like Wuda, and it was hard, cause I wasn't living like that. I was living normal, chilling. Mm -hmm. Not that I start had, I, it's not like I had to change how I was living. It, it's just like I had to adjust to being known, and it was hard, cause I'm still thinking like street. Like mm -hmm. people walking up on me, I'm in def like I'm in defense mode. Yeah. So I had to adjust to just taking a picture and people being like you feel nice. me, yeah. like being like appreciative and stuff. So I don't know. It was real hard. It still is hard. Okay. So I don't even be. I don't know. I look at myself as Josh. I don't really look at myself as Wooda. So it's like it mm -hmm. still be hard to understand that people look at me for what they see. But okay. So like, who's Wooda versus who's Josh? Like, how do you separate the two? I'm really the same. I'm really like the same person. Nah, you just said you look at you as Josh. No, so it's like, like I look at myself as Josh. Uh huh. The world sees me as Wooda, so they yeah. look at me as famous. Mm -hmm. I don't link. I, I don't think I'm famous. Like I, I move normal. Like I'm chilling. Like I don't know. I just, I'm a regular person. So it's like I'm really the same person. Okay. It's just. So it's no different from Josh. Not nah, really. No. Uh -huh. It's just Josh is really more like the. The difference between Josh and Wuda, you probably gonna see Josh emotions more than Wuda, mm -hmm. because Wuda, I'm gonna only show you, like, some per, like presentable things, like yeah. happy, good moments. It's rare mm -hmm. to see too much bad, sad, angry moments of Wuda because I don't want to put that on my image. If that makes sense. Yeah. But it's like I go through a lot of shit every day, so it's like you don't know when I'm going through ups and downs because I always pick up a camera and I'm smiling whenever I got time to. Do on content, a scale of shit. one to ten, how emotional would you say you are? Probably ten. That us? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm a very bold person, but I got respect for people that respect me. Yeah. But anything that's on my chest is coming off. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it. Yeah, you seem straightforward. I don't, I don't really hold my tongue, but I keep it at the same respect level that someone comes off towards me. But mm -hmm. I can't get out of hand. Um, I'm sensitively aggressive, so it's like. <laughs> Me saying that is like, I'm sensitive, but it's in an ag aggressive manner. Mm -hmm. So it could come off like I'm mad. Angry. Yeah. But it's like, you just hurt my feelings or some shit. Okay. Do you feel like you're emotional because you feel like you're trying to find, like, you know, everybody kind of has that person to lean on. And maybe, like, that was your brother. So maybe you're trying to, like, you know? Um, I wouldn't necessarily put on my twin. It was really. I don't know. I've always been that like way. Like a, a right hand, like. I always been like that though. Yeah. Like he's the same way. Okay. Like you feel me. So y'all like, was one in the same, pretty much. Yeah, it's like that's just how I am. Okay. Like I don't really feel like I'm gonna change that. Like that's mm -hmm. just how I am. Like, but I just gained to be more respectful. Like when I was younger, I was more rude. Was, you feel was, me? Yeah. Now I'm more mature, so it's like I'm still gonna be emotional, but I'm gonna come off with more respect. Like I, mm -hmm. it's like I keep my composure a lot now. Okay. Like, I don't really get too out of hand. Okay. I, I can laugh something off and still address it on some stuff. Like, that was weird, but you ain't had to do da da da. You feel <laughs> me? I used to probably just spaz on some shit. Yeah. All right. So, you're working through that. All right. So, what happened? You took a little hiatus a little bit. Um, like a break? Yeah. Um, real life. My mom, I had to. You know, you didn't really in. say what was happening with her, but you said like, I don't really like speaking on it, but it's like it's better now, so I start to. Okay. But my mom was sick, more sick than she is now. Okay. And it was out of the blue, so mm -hmm. it was like picture like this: I was living in Houston, normal life yeah, yeah. in Houston. 
while my mom was lying, but she wasn't doing it for a bad intention. She was doing it so she wouldn't worry me. Yeah. So, like, I'm thinking I'm taking care of her while mm -hmm. the whole time she's going through more than what I'm thinking. Mm, she not letting okay. me know nothing. Because y'all was speaking often. Yeah, facts. Because yeah. I talk to my mom every day. It's just like, she was hot and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I found out when I came to come visit her. It's like, I surprise visited her. And then I found Was this out. for Thanksgiving or this was after? No, that, that was after Thanksgiving. Okay. Thanksgiving, she came to Houston. Oh, yeah. yeah so, okay. it's like, when I surprised her, came to Philly, I was down in Philly for like two weeks. And then I just experienced so much. Like, okay. You started noticing things your mom don't usually do type shit. Yeah, like for one, before I came down there, she was sick. Uh -huh. I just found out a week before I came down there. Uh -huh. Then I came down there, it was more than just being sick. It was okay. like. In the hospital type shit? Hospital, house problems. Okay. Situation at situation at situation. Okay. That I could have been taken care of if she would have told me. Told you. So it's like, it was uh -huh. so much stuff piled up. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck Houston. Like, I ain't even about to stay down there in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going through all this. It's like, because it's like, I'm working for her and me, but it's like, I'm thinking she cool. Yeah. You like, think you put I'm, her I'm living, thinking, yeah. I'm, I'm living, I'm, I'm living, you feel me? Yeah. While my mom still, mm -hmm. it was like, what am yeah. I doing with myself? Yeah. So it was like, it was like a reality check on some shit. Okay. So. Okay, so um, so you're back with staying with your mom now? No, I'm like near her. Near her, so What's taking care of her basically, like helping her. You know? Yeah. Okay. So was you like sad leaving Houston? Was you happy to leave Houston? I was happy. Like, I, I actually thought I you never. You seemed would like leave. you was over Houston. I was. Key. It was. It was. It was draining me. I felt like the environment was very bad for me. I can't say Houston is a bad state. It's not. It's a very turnt. It was in the mix. It's I was just toxic. in the mix. You feel me? Like yeah. it's, that's really what it was. It was just I was in two. I was in a bad environment. Okay. So me getting out of it, it was like a relief. Okay. So it was like now I'm like cool. Do they still be calling you like yo come back to Houston? No thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You be visiting or no? No. <laughs> I, it's, it's no point. It's like I got everything I wanted out of Houston. Okay. Good and bad. You feel me? It's like I learned a lot from being out there. I was on my own, so it was like it was green. That's why when I move again, mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna let nobody know where I live. Yeah, I see you trying to keep that like top secret. Why? Cause <clears throat> it's like, like I said, I, I was young, so I'm not noticing people taking this shit more serious. I'm gaining more envy and all that, like without realizing it. Like I'm posting my cars, bro. I was posting my cars. I was recording me going downstairs to my garage. I'm recording me driving out my garage. It's like, bro. You're not in GTA. Niggas will really come <laughs> rob you. And that's what started happening. Oh, so it was like, I didn't get robbed. Watching all. Yeah, like, I didn't get robbed. I mean, your car was very much like, you could see it. You know what. Was. You feel me? And that was every car I was doing. Yeah. Every house. I was recording my houses. I was just doing too much. Yeah. And it's like, now I realize, like, now I'm not doing that. So everything mm -hmm. I do now, everything I got now, but I don't I mean, post. I feel like it adds to your vlogs because you do vlogs. Like That's why I, it's like... I grew out of that. That's not. That's not really how I want to live. It's like I was. For, it's low key like me looking at it now. It was like I was forcing everything that was happening on myself by doing it. Like I got my car stole twice. Cars broken into like five times. I got my house robbed twice. It was just, but it was my fault. Because if I was private, because you had people there, or because it's like, not the people. Because I'm a I'm a secluded person. Yeah. So, you don't so it's like that. it had to have been because I'm posting. And I'm realizing it. It's like, yeah. Cause when but I, I mean, like those states like that, that's fake regular. Like in Atlanta, people steal cars. Like it that's is regular. Normal. But it's like I know it was. But also, it, you lit, it, so it's it gotta like, be. Yeah. You feel me? It, it gotta be. It gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. So now you got like air tags in your car, probably. No, nah, like I got. I've been at all that. Oh, okay. It's just like now. Everything I buy, everything I do now, I just don't post it. I don't mm -hmm. post nothing. So what does the future of Wuda look like on YouTube now? Because we done got kind of used to seeing your lifestyle and stuff. <laughs> Probably dark. Um, what you mean? Dark? Like, what you mean? I do music now. So it's like, you're going to see what's on. We know, but like, bro, we, watch, we people watch your YouTube. Like, what about your YouTube fans? Like, Probably vlogs, studio sessions, trips. Like... What? Probably if I'm collabing or like say if I'm doing a feature with a girl or like somebody, I'll probably do mm -hmm. a mukbang or some shit. 
I'm not doing like no flashy shit no more. Like, what? I'm not doing that. Wow. I'm not that's... doing that. It's too dangerous for my future. It's okay. like, that's what people don't acknowledge. It's like, it look good, but I get it. It costs dangerous. money to like show off, basically. Yeah. It and it's like, I it. wasn't walking around with security. Mm. I had my own security. And that ain't enough. <laughs> you feel me? And yeah. it's like, that's just real shit. And then it's all material stuff. So it's like, it's not worth your, you know, life yeah. and stuff. Okay, so in Houston, we've seen you working with a lot of people, connecting with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, you featured in Influencer City. No. Basically. No, and that's the problem. I'm glad that you brought that up. <laughs> Basically. I know. It's like, all right, I was on there. There's no yeah. shade towards Influencer City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, The production with it Your is... Your picture was literally on the flyer. That's what I'm saying. The production with it is very marketable. Okay. But don't get it confused. I was not affiliated with that. I was only there because I was there talking to yeah, yeah, a person yeah. at that time, uh -huh. you know. And I'm I was cool with the the head honcho team? of the production. Okay. So it was cool for me to be around. Okay. But I feel like people got the wrong idea. Like nigga, I wasn't on that show. Like <laughs> I wouldn't do a show like that. I, I'm not knocking. It's just that's never been my character. Yeah. So it's like when I hear that, it'd be like. No. I don't even want people to think that. I was just there. Like, imagine, like, you just, like, imagine you knew me, mm -hmm. and then you're like, yo, woo, I'm in Houston. And then they recording, and I say, bet, come, uh, come, come to Crafty Crab with us. Come eat with us. And then yeah. you on camera. So yeah. now people going to think you on Influence City, because yeah. you probably got into a fight. But, like, it did. You definitely did. But it's also, too, you was on the flyer, so it just gave, like, you was on it. I feel like you should have told them, like, don't include No, but that, on that, that's why I didn't say no, because I was cool with it. Okay. Like, I didn't care. Okay. On some shit. Like, I didn't care. But you just care that, like, that's the image. Like, you would never do a show like that again. No, like, I would, like, now, if I knew, first of all, I didn't even know I was getting recorded. So, if I knew, I swear to God. They record everything. That's well, like, the, I didn't know, like, like, it's like they walked in with the cameras. Um, the cameras wasn't on. Okay, okay, okay. Like, when all that went down, the cameras was not on. Okay. So it was like they walk. It was like I was in the environment though, so it was okay to whip out the camera. Yeah. You feel me? It wasn't Are like. Are you used to that though? Like people just recording, like because you. Yeah, around? I don't really. Yeah, it don't really matter. Do you feel like you kind of like help people's career? Yeah, for sure. I feel <laughs> like everything went hand in hand though. I don't really act like, oh, I put this person on. Even if even if it could look like that, that's not me. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like I feel like everything go hand in hand. It's like. I help somebody, they help me, and we both grow together type shit. Okay. How do you feel like you was helped in some of these situations? I was introduced to a lot of things that I was not introduced to before, so I got put on to a lot of things. Um, like what, for your career or just like about yourself or like what? Like my career, like YouTube in general. Okay. Um, I got put on by somebody I was close with. He, he basically encouraged me to do YouTube. So he didn't teach me how to edit or nothing. Okay. I, I did all that on my own. Okay. But he introduced me to the encouragement of looking at it like, nigga, this shit like FaceTime. Like, do you? <laughs> and it's like, me seeing him do it, it's like, I tried it. And it's like, bet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're from Philly. Mm -hmm. But in Houston, like, they drip is very different. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. You didn't, like, switch up your drip, like, to adjust to the, like... Houston drip, I, all, I, I don't know. I always dress different, though. Did you feel like they can't dress, though? No, niggas can dress out there. Okay. For sure. It'd just be, like, hit or miss. I just picked up, like, <laughs> the the <laughs> like the swag from down south. Everybody from down south wears certain shit. Okay. Like, people up north, they had throw on a Lindsay t-shirt, some purple jeans, and some Lindsay eyes, and call it a fit. Mm -hmm. That's not a fit. That's too generic. That's too, like, basic. <laughs> okay. Like, mm -mm. I was used to that. But when I moved, it's like I got used to, like, pieces type shit. Okay. So you started playing the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you feel like you developed your, like, sense of style, though? Mm. Like, when? Like, in high school and... Mm. Probably... I don't know. I always get dressed. Mm. Like, even when I ain't have no, like... No designer stuff. No designer. Like, I just yeah. always knew. I, I always matched. I always matched. Like, I could throw mm -hmm. on some night clothes. I got to match. Yeah. Got to match. Okay. So, how do you, so, how do you get the, like, drive to, like, keep dropping? 
YouTube videos because you was like doing like a heavy run. I feel like you was like harding and stuff on YouTube. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I was very hard. How did I do it? I don't know. I was bored. I was very bored. I was like, like I said, I was alone. So it was like, I don't know. I was just recording so much mm. and I had so much to edit. Okay. And I was bored. <laughs> so I look up, I drop 40 videos and I'm like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I got them used to that. So me keeping up with it, it became more of a like, more work. damn, damn, damn. You feel <laughs> okay. me? But it's like, it's fun, but it's like, that's why I had to start hiring editors and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. it's like. When did you start hiring editors though? Like I, recently? No, like my Miami trip last year. Last year? Last year, Miami. Okay. No, two years ago, Miami. Okay. Yeah, my first time. Say, it had to be a minute because you dropped them too quick. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, people act. If people was to ask, like, what kind of content do you do? What do you say? Cause they do sometimes give like relationship like content, <laughs> or like flirty like Riz like. I probably. Content. I don't know. I just be saying I vlog my life. Cause that's really what I do. Okay. But at the time, I was doing that a lot. Yeah. Like I would just collab with people and then do like I would just be myself though. But yeah. people say like it's flirty. I probably am coming off flirty, but I swear to God, that's me on and off camera. I'm just recording this shit. I was trolling a little bit. I, I was trolling. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, I was dead ass. Dead ass. Like so nine times out of ten, you dead ass. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Okay. So um so you did the twenty v one. You did you met Nadia at the twenty v one, right? Who? Nadia. At the twenty v one. Yeah. Mhm. So, did you see when um her and Cam did a twenty v one and your name came up? <coughs> no. You didn't see that? Mm mm. That shit went viral on TikTok. Whatever. <laughs> so basically, um, somebody said something, and she was like Wuda, and then Cam was like I last longer or some funny shit. Oh, I see that gay ass shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the What's your thoughts on that? Like, how do you? I don't got when no your problem. name come up though, like, like cause y'all cool, y'all spoke about it. I laugh, I laugh, I, I laugh. I don't think I spoke about it, but yeah, I laugh, I laugh when I see little shit, especially with niggas I know, on some shit. Cause y'all like fake cool, no? Who? You and Cam. He cool. I wanna say we cool. He cool. Okay. So do you regret like you know like putting certain girls on your channel? No, I don't no. live with no regrets. Everything happened for a reason. Okay. Yeah. You cannot be this positive, bro. I swear this is me. I swear to God. See, and, and it's crazy because you don't know because it's like, this really me. I swear on everything. I don't, I don't, like, I don't look at life how people may think I look at it. Like, I'm, I'm a laid back nigga. Like, mm -hmm. I take this shit day by day. So, me, me trying to have a regret because I went through some bad shit with somebody, that's just, no. Not having regret, but more so like, okay, moving forward, like, I'm not going to put no, no more of my girls on camera type shit. Or whoever I'm fucking with. Oh, like, like I am I on that now? Yeah. Yes. Damn, really? For sure. Wow. Anything I, got, anything I got going on in real life is not going to get broadcast now. Unless I wanted to. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I, I see how it can go. Okay. It just, it just, it's always crash and burn. Why do you feel like it's crash and burn? Do you feel like it's the fans? Do you feel like it's the internet itself? Like, why do you feel like it ends up in crash and burn? It's... Well, let me be honest. Yeah. People don't know how to stay true to themselves like I do. So that's what it is. I okay. can honestly say, I feel like if I keep, if I kept on doing that, I will keep experiencing the same thing. Since I stopped doing it, I haven't experienced the same thing. And then you have um, Chicago Hottie in another video too. Yeah. So these are all just your homies. You want to put them in videos because they. Yeah. Help well, you I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say work partners. Hmm. Work partners. Work partners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so when did you start taking music serious? Like five months ago. Come on now. I'm you, dead serious. You started taking music serious five months ago. No bullshit. Okay. What made you start taking it serious five months ago? Because I started music last year. Like my first song. Dropped a dancing song. It went up. My first ever dance song, first song I ever did, it went up. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. It went up. So much bad shit happened. 
I said, fuck music. So much bad shit. Like, okay, what does going up look like to you? Like, it had a lot of dances, videos? It had dances, had 100,000 videos. Yeah. Streams, it had 3 million streams. It was going up. Yeah. Um, what you mean, bad shit happened as far as what, like, outside of music? It was like, no, nah, like, with the music. Oh. Like, it was so oh, much. Oh, like, it was getting taken down or something? No, it was like so much that came with that. What bad song. stuff could happen with music, though? It's just like you know, you know. Like when you're so, when you the trending topic of music is not like being a trending topic of YouTube. Okay. It's like it's a difference. Okay. Everybody fuck with you at that moment. Mm -hmm. They try to use you without you knowing. Mm -hmm. Then people are more in the game than you are, so you can get blackballed without even getting in the game. You feel like you blackballed? I got blackballed. Basically. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. My song was supposed to be on 2K. Okay. I'm just summing up and say, someone didn't let it happen. Okay. That's a that's a strong statement. It's very strong. I don't okay. want to get too much in detail. I don't want to give niggas the yeah. fame and joy to just. All right. Go so talk how did you shit. get the news that um? I I was I was I'm I was mutuals with the person at the time, so I knew that he was the reason. Okay. Because. I was told that that happened. Okay. And that made me lose my self-esteem on doing that shit. Because it was like, damn. So you are for sure a fact that know that that happened? Because, you know, niggas yeah. be lying. So like, you definitely know that, that 100%. happened. 100%. And where do you stand with this person now? Holla at you. Okay. And how did you, did you confront them? Or you just kind of like left it? For sure. Um, we, we had some words. Okay. I didn't, I'm not on some beef words. Yeah. On some confused, like I'm confused, like why? Why do you do I don't, that? I don't even do music. Like, why is this a, even a thing? Why are you hating? Why are you doing yeah. this? And it's like the anger from the responses was, it was just like, it was scary to be in that position because I know my temper, so I'm keeping my composure while asking you questions instead of retaliating mm -hmm. off. And of you're your thinking anger. this is your friend, also. Yes. Okay. So, experiencing that just made me chill. Okay. Type shit. Was they also doing music? <laughs> I'm not asking who. I'm just saying, was they also doing music? Like, was they was they song in 2K? Oh, you don't know, because after that, like, y'all was cool. All right. So this happened a year ago, two years ago. Year. A year ago. Okay. So five months ago, like, what happened? Like, what sparked you back up again? I always like pain songs. Pain songs? So Give me an like, example. What's the pain song? Lil Papa. Hmm? Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Okay. Two C, like, you know. Okay. Like Polo so, G type Polo G, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. I was like, if I did some rap shit, I would, I would do some shit in that lane. I wouldn't do mm -hmm. no dancing shit. I don't like dancing no more. I grew up like, all my life dancing. So, I was like, all right, cool. I wound up, um, my friends at the time, they bought a studio session. No, actually, I'm lying. I got a studio session because my friend sent me an open. Okay. Brock sent me an open. And I hopped on this song. Okay. I did that, John. And it was fun. Okay. It was fun. Letting off, like just venting. Okay. Going off the top and then it wound up being okay. Enough to get dropped. Okay. And I don't know. It just, I just became more and more serious from being inside the studio more. It's like I gained the love for it. Then okay. I started writing. It's like when I started writing, that's when I was like, bet, like, I don't know, like, I'm about to start doing this shit because it's like I'm venting instead okay. of just being on YouTube venting. <laughs> okay. So is it harder to make a song versus like being on YouTube venting? No. No? So you, so you, it's easier to express yourself through the music? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, cool. Because it's like people going to understand and sometimes be able to relate to your pain mm -hmm. or whatever you make a song about yeah. rather than judging you off a video mm -hmm. that you going through something or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I just didn't like being opinionated off of the, off a lot of things that I was going through because uh -huh. like, I would answer questions on my Q&As or say if I went through something, I'm posting something and 
I'm just seeing people clown a serious situation, and it's like, bro, this shit not a bit. Like y'all making a joke out of something else, bro. Like, like you know. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, with the music, it's, it's like, like criticize it, uh-huh. and it's like if you but don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. But you gonna hear how I put it on the track type okay. shit. Uh, yeah. So um, so music is more therapeutic to you. Are you trying to be like a superstar artist, or are you just trying to get stuff off your chest? I ain't really. I don't really got no goal in music. <laughs> wow. I don't. You should not say that out loud. I don't. It, it's like I'm doing it for the fun. Like I like the event. Okay. I like to write. I like the. I like poetry. So mm-hmm. it's like I like to do certain things. Mm-hmm. So it's like hearing it just the best thing of it. But okay. on a longevity standpoint, if it come, it come. I don't do stuff thinking I'm going to be the best. It's because it's like I feel like I already am the best at what I do. It's like I wake up with the energy that I put out. So it's like I don't know. Like when I started YouTube, I didn't think I will. I did not think I was gonna be Wuda on no fucking YouTube. I did not think I was gonna be Wuda on no TikTok. I did not think I was gonna be Wuda on no Instagram pictures. Mm-hmm. Like I did not think that shit. I didn't yeah. think I was gonna be able to get Dior deals, Fashion Nova deals, every TikTok going viral. I did not think that shit. Yeah. I just was doing it. So you're doing it for fun. Yeah. And it just turned into all that. So you're doing the same thing with music. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. All right. So how do you feel? What do you, how do you feel about the people that's not really a fan of your music and want you to go back to content? So what? I don't know. I don't really care. It's like, I look at shit like that. Like, I don't know. Like nobody is like that first. Just like the girl that you said in the beginning of the interview. I Spice, I swear to God on my life. What I remember seeing, she used to get trolled bad. When she first started going viral, I remember that. Fake, yeah. Like, OD, and I remember, I remember seeing it. Like she was a trending topic of getting trolled, and it's like, that's a big example of how I see everybody. Like anybody, any famous artist or hard artist, they always get trolled at first, and I feel okay. like I like it because you, like you can't knock me off my pivot. I don't care about no opinion. It's like. Mm-hmm. You saying what you want to say, go ahead. I don't care. I don't know. I just, shit like that don't get at me. Okay. <clears throat> Do you um feel like your music can improve, though? For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything got room for improvement. What do you think, like, you need to work on? Personally, I don't know yet. I'm still finding the sound. The sound? But I feel like I need to work on my confidence because I can sing. Okay. I can see. Okay. So I just got to work on the confidence of doing it in the studio. Mm. But my newer ones that I am making now, it's coming out more. You get confidence in the studio? For sure. But I'm not posting that shit. Why? Not yet? You ever heard of, like, the Jones effect? No. Explain. The Jones effect is, from my knowledge, the Jones effect is when everyone loves something, they all gather to it. Mm. So, how I'm doing it, I'm putting out everything that I've made in my past. Like, I want you to hear the growth. Okay. Because over time, as I'm getting better, it's like, you're going to feel me getting better. You're going to feel this shit. And it's like, okay. I won't, I'm going to be stuck in your head now. <laughs> okay. Like, I know that because right. you see flaws. It's like, it's like a rags the riches thing. Okay. You know? So you're putting out the old stuff on purpose so they can see your growth for real? Yes. Okay. All yes. right. So, um, I do you want to sign a deal? Or are you just kind of nah. like, no? I, I know what that shit come <laughs> with. I know. I know. It's just too good to be true. I can't sign my life away without having rights. So I wouldn't be looking forward to signing a deal, no. So you're not looking to sign a deal? Mm. I mean, you could get like a distribution deal. Probably or distributions. Yeah. But like, like full on million dollars catalogs and yeah. people saying, "Yo, take this mill." <laughs> Fuck you, think I'm dumb? I got three credit lines. I'm I know this ain't my money. <laughs> like I know, you feel me? I mean, that's more so you just you being confident. Like I know I can make a million dollars off my music. Yeah, yeah. it just take hard work. You got to really know what you're doing. Okay. It's like, and I'm a good marketer, so I know what I'm. I know what and what not to do. So it's mm-hmm. like that's why, like I said, what I'm doing. I know. I know. 
type shit. <laughs> okay. So you feel like you just got to work on the music for real because you're yeah. good at marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, me personally, I feel like you should like probably sit with like a composer. So like, I don't know if you go, like some people have songwriters. Some people have yeah. people that just help them in the studio compose the record. No, thanks. thanks. So that's what I, so basically, I that, that's so that's what, what I was saying. So that's what I'm telling you. My new shit is. It's like sound like that. <laughs> okay. You're not trying to say too much. But yeah, it seemed like you'd be having a lot that you want to say in the music, and it just seems like you're just trying to like get it all out. But you, you know, the music is like you have to like vibe with it. Yeah, that's what I'm learning how to do. Okay. That's how the new shit is. Okay. I don't know if you heard, but before my homies left, they asked for me to send certain ones. I don't know mm-hmm. if you heard that. No, I didn't hear them. They wanted certain songs. They asked me to send them stuff, okay. like the songs I just made because we just left from the studio. Okay. I made two new songs. Mm-hmm. They ain't never asked for my old shit. But they asked my new shit. No, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's because I know now it's better. Okay. But it's like, do the world know? No. Okay. But on some shit, like at the interview, you can probably hear it. Okay. And you can judge it. I really want to hear it. Okay. Because it's like, I want to see, do you expect me to even go that route? Okay. On some shit. Okay. I don't know. So you singing? Yeah. Fake? Yeah. Yeah? Fake, okay. a little okay. bit. A little bit. All right, cool. All right, so so you're transitioning to this artist Wooda right now. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what like what's all your like content people gonna how they gonna feel about that? Shit. <laughs> like, don't you feel like you're doing a disservice to your fan base that you built by not doing content? No. No. Because I built this shit brick by brick off me. So <laughs> yes. if you don't want to support it, you I just, can't blame you. You just stop building the house, though. It's not stop built, though. Well, you just kind of like, you kind of just left it with that and started building something else. Music is a whole nother, like. It's like, yeah, it is. Yeah. It just feel like I'm restarting and I'm glad. Oh, you restarting. Okay. So it's like, it's cool. I'm not, like, I don't know. I feel like people look at it harder than how I look at it. Like, it's my well, life. I feel like for like especially for YouTubers, like you got people that's like growing up with y'all. Yeah. So it's like it's like different. You like they friend for real. Type shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like not seeing your friend no more. But it's like <laughs> it's my life. Nah, I feel so like, it's I feel like, like, I feel like. I that's why it's like when it come down to judging and all that, it's like it don't phase me mm-hmm. on a explanatory standpoint because I I never gave y'all a fake persona. So if y'all start fucking me off of me being around drama, kudos to y'all, but mm-hmm. not happening no more. Okay. All that shit dead. Like, I'm going to be 30 in 10 years. Who the fuck about to keep going back and forth about an uh, unfollow? I swear to God, I'm not. Long. That's long, but yeah. why would I keep doing all of that for 10 years straight? Like, that's so, like, dead. Like, that's dead. Yeah, but um, do you still talk to like any of the people that you met back in Houston? In Houston? Yeah. Mm, nah. Like I left all that shit in the past. For real? Yeah, all that shit gone. Like, cause you was a like day day and um, you don't talk to none of them no more. Who? Day day. Uh. That ass you don't talk to no more. That was like your man's. No, he cool. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's just not in my life no more. Okay. No bad so boy. how do you decide for like who's gonna be in your life still and who's not gonna be no more? It's not really like a, a crazy like oh I pick you I pick you. It's nah, like, nah, nah, just like w- like did something it's like happen who around for you me every day? That's like else? that's what it is and that's what it's going to be. That's what did something happen for you? It was like yeah I gotta I can't fuck with you. No, I just move. Okay. Yeah. But you said you're not even gonna go visit though. <laughs> nah, you're moving like. You not fucking with that shit at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, what happened over there? All right, but um, do you feel like you're definitely not gonna stay in Philly though? You would Who stay said in, I'm Philly? in Philly. I'm, 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 you're from Philly. Same shit. Yeah, but I know you wouldn't move back to Philly. Oh no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where do you see yourself living though? In the tri-state and like West Coast. And like the South. I don't know. And like Orlando and some like Colorado and some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, I was thinking about like Utah. So you were trying to be somewhere where like nobody know you type shit? Type shit, yeah. 
Ain't that gonna be boring though? You said that happened and you got bored in Houston. So why would you do that again? Utah, I don't think I can get caught up in no mix. It's so secluded. I would really, you want to be honest? Yeah. If I had, no, when I get enough money, mm -hmm. I'm gonna move on an island with one house. And you gonna take, you gonna have to take a boat to come see me. Or that a fucking zip line. Yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. I don't, I don't wanna be seen, heard, nothing. Like, I want, I want to, I want to do all of the stuff I gotta do now, so I don't gotta do nothing later. Okay. Because when I'm older, I just want to just sit and look out the window and just. Okay. Do you have like a money goal, or more so like just a? I got a wealth goal. Okay. So like a long jeopardized money goal. Okay. For sure, yeah. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, so, is there a reason like why you don't like drink or smoke or nothing? Yeah, the traumatizing of my family. Like mm -hmm. my mom and my dad, my cousins, my uncles, aunts, grandmas, they mm -hmm. all drink, smoke, everything, mm -hmm. everything. And I watched them crash. I watched them basically crash. And mm -hmm. that just always showed me like, nah. But my biggest fear is for my kids to do it. Yeah. Because they're running my they're running your blood. Family. Yeah, running my family. I mean, this new generation is very much, uh, it's, it's there. It's, yeah, feel me? It's like, there. niggas doing vape and all that. Yeah. I don't even do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, yeah. Vape is not that bad. But um, but you be doing true for drinks, so that just be trolling? It be for the vid. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to do a true for drink. But people don't expect me to answer their questions. So yeah. when I answer them, it's like, damn, this nigga just... He, like he being real the whole time. Okay. So this shit really just a me or drink or some shit. <laughs> so so maybe you man, drink. yeah. But you did a lot of like, I wouldn't say rekindling, but it seemed like you talk about your prob, talk through y'all situations on camera. If you get what I'm saying, like when you have went through something. Yeah, I used to vent on the internet. You used to be venting on the internet, and then like let's say you would be going through some shit with somebody, y'all would like work it out on camera. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So was that like before or like was that really be y'all first time speaking or would y'all speak about it prior to and then be like, okay, let's, this is what the, we're going to tell the world. I mean, depends. Like what situation are you talking about? Like you can be honest. Like you can be bold. Like what situation are you talking um, about? I had two. I was talking about um, the Nadia situation and then you and Two Rare had did a mukbang. So, or something like that. When y'all was mm. talking about stuff. Both of them, yeah, they were settled on the phone. Type shit. To do it in person. Okay. Type shit. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. So, do you feel like the rekindling on camera be like for the world to know like it's no beef? Because people will still yeah. try to like make it seem like it's something, even though it don't. No, nah, yeah, like the times I was doing all that shit, it was to mm -hmm. just get it in the air. Like, yeah, this shit did. Yeah, we cool. Relax, but mm -hmm. now I don't give a fuck. So anything that go on, I, don't, I ain't clearing that shit up. No, that's fact. Do you feel like people be doing things to kind of get your attention? Everybody. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I was like, I don't know if you feel that way. No, people do that for sure. Okay. I peep it all the time. Okay. It's like the shit I see, people think I don't see. And then when I see it, it's like, I don't react no more. So it's like, people still do it. It's like, shit. Mm. I, I can't control it. <sighs> yeah. Um. Yeah, people kind of just want to know like how you feel about certain shit. Like what though? <laughs> like mad stuff. I mean stuff that you've seen. I mean, I'm quiet now. Okay. Cause I, it's like, it's like people use bothered. my words against me, so I don't like talking no more. Uh -huh. But I like I really don't. I just stay to myself. Like I don't like speaking. I don't know. It's like the world made me be silent now. Like. Okay. Not saying that you're bothered by the situation, but do you look at these people differently? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like on some you don't you not fuck with them no more? Or Ooh, awesome, no. Like, huh? Who? <laughs> so, um, you know, I think Lena's with like J C now or it looks like they're like doing more content and then Naughty is just doing like I don't I just like content, so. you know what's crazy? That's that whole situation is weird. I don't even to me. like that's not even I swear to God I don't see that shit. You don't see nothing? I don't see that shit. 
Yeah. Like my environment changed so much to the point where I don't see none of this stuff. Like all that influencer, mm -hmm. people trying to tag me and all this drama yeah, stuff revolving around you. my old situation and things like that and that nature is like that shit so out of my reach. Like, it's just kind of like we done seen y'all together, especially you and Lena, and then like, you know, that y'all was still close. So it's like, y'all not close no more? Like, no? No. Yo, are you and Nadia still cool or close? I don't even talk, talk to them. Talk to Nadia? I don't see them. Damn, you just ex Houston out, yo. Yeah. Okay. It's like he's not in my peripheral no more. I don't see that shit. I'm in a whole different okay. bubble now. Like, this shit different. Like. So this is like a new water that we're seeing, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in none of that. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see or care for none of that. Okay. And you say you're not going to put your next girlfriend on camera? Hmm? Huh? You say you're not going to put your next girlfriend on camera. Like you said, you're going to keep your private life private. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm So like, never ever though? I mean, one day. One day? Whenever that day come. Like when all that's done? What? I want, not when all that's done, but like, you know, like whenever you're ready, I guess. Type shit. Type shit. Yeah. But you locked in on family right now. Um, your project is coming January. January 3rd. January 3rd. For sure. I got 19 tracks on there. 19 tracks. 19 tracks. Was it any features? I don't think it was no features. It was two. Two features. Two features. Okay. Yeah. Are you working with other artists? Yeah. Cause they were saying they wanted you and like JC to get on a song together. Yeah, I hit bro. Like we cool. We ain't, we ain't talk about no music shit yet though. Okay. Yeah. That would be drama. Fake. You think so? I mean. Probably. A little bit. Probably. It depends on what the song's about. It depends on what the song's about. Cause if you say you're talking pain. If I'm talking, if I'm doing a song with bro, I don't know what kind of song it'd be. <laughs> No bullshit. Because okay. he do drill, but he can do yeah. some pain shit. How like, you feel about drill music? I'm not a big fan. Okay. But it's not ass. Yeah. I just don't add it to my playlist. Okay. I like hearing shit that I can relate to. I yeah. can't. It's like I can relate to drill shit mm -hmm. when I was doing dumb shit. <laughs> so now okay. I'm mature. It's like that shit don't really. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, There's a lot of artists from Philly. Um, I, the artist just passed away. YBC Duel just passed away. Um, do you feel like it's like a good light on Philly, or do you feel like it's a bad light on Philly? Like revolving around music. Yeah, like because <clears throat> being that you're doing music now, you gotta, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Like Philly, it's a lot of people out there that just want to be in competition. I want to be what? In, in competition. competition. Everybody want to be better than everybody. Mm -hmm. I feel like the unity out there is not strong. Okay. So it's like everybody want to be number one when it's like, y'all don't understand. Like, we black. Like, they going to look at this more crazy if we all come together. But it can't be like that because how bad the shit is out there. Yeah. It's like, like, niggas really done did a lot of shit. It's like if niggas put their pride to the side, niggas can't even put their pride to the side because it's like going back on their homeliness. Mm. Passed away right. You know So it's like That shit deep No shit bullshit deep. And it's like okay. You know other states like that But down Down there is I mean It's yeah, way it's deeper like, yeah, Than what people think Y'all make it sound so bad It is And then y'all also make it sound good too No it's On cool some like Y'all like rep Philly so crazy It's like You kind of want to go see What y'all talking about But then like Y'all make it sound so bad Like don't go You no, know I never say don't go you if you No go, you never say don't go and, Like if you want to go Go <laughs> it's like it's just bad when you're in the mix. Okay. If you out the mix, that should have vibe because it's new. It's it's nothing to do out there. But you know, like if you like, or you want to go try some cheese steaks or see certain things. Okay. You can go to like certain little spots, but once you in the mix, you in the mix. Like, mm -hmm. thank God I'm not in the mix. Okay. No bullshit. But it's like once you in the mix, you can't get out the mix. Yeah. You can't. But, like, you're also, like, transitioning to an artist, so I feel like you got to kind of worry about what the artists be worried about, no? No. Not really? I ain't, I ain't worried about shit them niggas got going on. <laughs> like, nothing. Like, whatever they got going on, don't got nothing to do with me. Okay. You feel me? Everything I got going on got something to do with me and God. Like, them niggas, they, like, it's nothing bad, like, on my end towards them. It's just, 
my like I'm to myself. I don't know or care about what they got going on. I just Damn. hope they staying out the way. You feel like we missed anything? No. Is there anything you want to get off your chest? I'm sorry. Um, nah. Cause you don't do a lot of interviews. I don't. Yeah. I don't. If I do an interview with somebody, fuck with you. Fuck Appreciate with you. you. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna play this game, but I'm not gonna play this game. What game? Nah, I'm gonna play this. It was a messy game. It wasn't a messy game. What game was it? It was two, but it's like she's a ten, but it was that game. And then um, I was gonna play this or that. I'm gonna say two things, and you just pick one. Let's try this or that. Probably like, it's more like a would you rather, basically. So okay, so would you rather no music or no cameras to do content? No camera. No camera? No camera. You got to do music type thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you rather go back to Houston or go back to Philly? Philly. Philly? Yeah. Damn, you really Houston. Cool off Houston. <laughs> okay. Um, would you rather a Hellcat or a drop top? What kind of drop top? Yeah? I said what kind of drop top? I mean, I don't know. I'm not like a cars person. So like you tell Drop me. Drop top or a Hellcat? Mm-hmm. Probably, probably a cat. Yeah, a cat. For sure, a cat. You had it for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, I had a cat. Yeah. Okay, so Wuda or Josh? Like, what's the... Or it just depends on the day. On some everyday shit? Hmm? Josh. Josh. I'd rather be Josh. I only Josh. Like, I would rather be that. Okay, would you rather a diss track about you go viral mm. or a diss track you may flop? Diss track about me go viral or diss track I may flop? Yeah. <laughs> diss track about me go viral. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't care. I'd laugh with it. You'd laugh? Yeah. I wouldn't care. That shit, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't know? No. So you say you don't know? Yeah, no. No, no, I'm saying like, I'll go to district. The vibe district. District. go viral? Yeah. Okay. Um, would you rather make pop music or rock and roll music? What's rock and roll? Rock and roll music? Like, what you mean? Like, rock music. Oh, like, rock? Yeah. Oh, no. Pop. Pop music? Pop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> would you rather be with a 10 with a bad personality or a 6 with a great personality? 6 with a great personality. I dealt with that before. That shit ain't that. Shit ain't that. It's like a 10 with a bad personality, you ain't a 10 no more. Cause your personality dookie, like I'm always mad. It's, it's so much to come with that. Yeah. Six with a great personality is like, she all right, but you really a 10. Fun. Cause yeah. you, you, you look like a seven, but That's your it. attitude really a, a 10, like that shit sturdy. Like, yeah. All right. Would you rather get set up by your man's or your girlfriend? God forbid. My man's. Okay. Because your girlfriend's going to hit different. It's like the girl. All right, it's a difference. The reason why I'm saying that, your girl, you get set up by a girl, hey, that's girl. probably at the crib. That's probably when you chilling. Your yeah. man's, it's probably you out. Yeah. Nine times out of ten. Yeah. Your girl is like, you was real comfortable. You didn't expect that. I'm it. not expecting nothing. Sometimes when you with the guys, like, you probably expecting some bullshit. So you yeah. ready to, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Would you rather feature from Nicki Minaj or Drake? Nicki. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather perform at Powerhouse in Philly or Rolling Loud? Powerhouse in Philly. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Why so? Not Rolling Loud? Festival vibes? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I be having dreams about performing at Powerhouse. Yeah. No bullshit. Okay, so that's like on a bucket list. It can I can say that, but I don't know. I just be glimpsing like, damn, I'm performing in my city. Mm -hmm. Like that shit just would hit different. I don't know. Okay. Would you rather 10K for one song or 50K per album? 10K for one song or 50K per album. Mm -hmm. Labels do that? 
I mean, Cause that's a crazy ass question. I mean, fake. You could get like a single deal, or you could get an album deal. So like, you said ten k for one song or fifty k per album? Yeah. Like yeah, that's how that's, many songs on the album? I mean, the album is like more than six. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 10K. I'm, I'm going yeah. with the 10K. Okay, some light in and out yeah. type shit. Okay. All right. Would you rather never have to buy sneakers again, never have to buy footwear again, or never have to buy clothes again? Never have to buy sneaks. Sneaks? Yeah. Okay. Would you rather unlimited music videos or unlimited beats? Music vids. Okay. You that, don't care about the beats? Bro, don't, I, I don't care about the beat. Okay. As much as a music vid? Yeah. Because a music vid costs money to get a music vid done. Yeah. No bullshit. A beat. Niggas be homing with beats, yeah, though. Yeah, I was to say, like, what? I, niggas be homing with beats. Yeah. But it's like... You went through that before? I'll Somebody go through that now. That's why Fake, some you flashy. shit... flashy. I would definitely... Would. If I was a producer, I would tax you for a beat. No cap. What? They... <laughs> nigga, how much somebody hit me with the other day? 800. 800. I swear to God, in my life, a beat ain't $800. You fraud. And the most I've seen a beat for is like And this nigga pennies. only got, no offense, this nigga only got 400 followers on Instagram. Nobody use your fucking beats, bro. Nobody use your beats, bro. So you talking about 800, 600? Stop playing with me. I know your beats are $100, 200. I mean, okay, so like it's like exclusively or like a couple of. Come on, you bro. You can lease a beat or you can buy it exclusively. Niggas, good niggas, uh -huh. sell beats exclusively max 450 that I came across. Okay. So it's I know when it get deeper, it's probably a thousand. It, get, it, 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 it go the up. The most I've seen the beat for, was like 5K. Holy like, shit. That was like the most ever, though. Holy shit. <laughs> I never experienced that. <laughs> No, no, no. This was Why like signed. They was signed. They was signed. See, that's what I'm saying. You know, when you got to run up that budget, it's like whatever. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's OD. I don't, bro. Yo, on a local tip, I never seen like more than a band. Yeah, niggas be OD. Yeah. And it's like, I don't care to pay it, but if I ain't making dime off of you, think I'm about to get you the money? No. <laughs> Just okay. copyright it. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so would you rather be your own cameraman or be your own engineer? Uh, I'd rather be my own engineer. Yeah? Yeah, I know how to engineer myself. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. How you learned that? When? Five months ago. No way. You no was in bullshit. the studio that whole month? No, like somebody taught me. Oh. Basically, this is what happened. I don't like getting recorded now, but the, my engineer now, I'm comfortable with him. Mm -hmm. So, when I first started doing it, Nick, I'm, I don't be, I don't be like, they move too slow. Oh and I feel like I can do it myself. Oh boy! So I so I got taught how to do it. What's it sound again? Cancer. Mm -hmm. But I got taught how to do it. Okay. And it's like I'm like all right, cool. Like this should survive. Like, okay. cause I'm doing it at my own pace. Like, when I fuck up, I know I I know I fucked up. When I know it can sound better, I know it's like I hate when I'm about to go in and then I get paused. Like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> like, I hate that. They gotta adjust something. Might nah. have to cut something down. But that's why I was like. I would rather engineer myself. Okay. Okay, would you rather start your own label or start your own TV show? TV show. Okay. No, label, label, label. 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 For sure, for sure. Because label longevity, TV, that shit might get boring. Okay. Label, start your own label. Okay, would you rather have your own cartoon or movie? I feel like you're going to say cartoon. Cartoon. For Cartoons sure. is longevity. <laughs> movies is, but it depends. All movies don't hit. All, yeah, movies, all movies like one hit. hits. Certain mm -hmm. genres, we one hits. Cartoons like, bro, SpongeBob, Legendary, bro. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I know every genre, but it's like, it don't get boring. Like, SpongeBob cut on, like, I'm not going to watch it undividedly. Okay. But I'm going to keep glimpsing, like. Damn. But you'll watch a cartoon, like, full out. Yeah. <laughs> like, a movie, like, that shit boring. Like, I don't know how niggas can really, you preparing food. To watch some bullshit. <laughs> like, nah, what? That's crazy. Like, yo, it just be like, then it's like you miss a part, you get like lost. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. 
cartoons, cartoons you don't you miss a part it's like it's still entertaining like no okay okay would you rather three million followers on ig or three million subscribers on youtube three million followers on ig yeah yeah you don't care about youtube like that no it's not that it's like instagram really you yeah youtube niggas don't understand bro that shit get dead like YouTube get dead? No, like the subscribers get dead. Oh. They really stop watching you. Oh, yeah, Instagram, yeah, yeah. they they gonna YouTube keep seeing you. Yeah, yeah. No okay. cap. Since they following you, yeah, they gonna keep seeing that. Yeah. 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 All right, so tell people to find you. How can they tune in? Man, tune in, man. Just type me up, Wuda, on every platform. Y'all should love to talk of the town. This is a great interview. Yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. Have fun. It was a vibe.